Now what we about to do is we about to not self promote. What we are gonna do is we're gonna get to this demo, y'all. And what we about to do is we about to see and compare and contrast the differences. I have been avoiding everything today. I have not seen nothing about the demo. I have been staying away. I seen one clip of Agent and I closed it out. I'm excited, y'all. It's demo day. Demo day? Demo day. Okay, y'all know the first bill I always make is always a big. So we definitely gonna make a big first, right? Not a center though, we gonna make a power forward. Last time that center was too slow. All right, and I wanna make my left handed. I'm gonna do, my favorite number is eight, so I'm gonna do eight. Eight is for prosperity. All right, so now for the pie chart. Okay, let's look at these pie charts. This one and this one are very similar. Whoa. Okay, okay, so this is obviously pure slashing, slashing shooting. This one is more slashing than shooting. So then, finishing, Hall of Fame on finishing and playmaking, Hall of Fame on slash. So they added a slashing build, which is more slashing than shooting. Shooting, pure shooter, pure sharp, I guess I should say. More shooting than slashing here. And the ball handling is actually pretty low. 61, ball handling is actually pretty low on this too. Shot playmaking. More shooting, but you can still be a playmaker. I kind of like that one. I kind of like this build. That's tough. Okay, hold on. All three, I feel like all three of these pie charts are like decent. Okay, so they got playmaking, pure playmaking, Hall of Fame defense, and Hall of Fame playmaking, just pure defense. Okay, because. And then they have a defensive. That's defense 50-50, pure defense mostly. And then they have a defense with the shooting. So if you want to be a, a lock that can shoot, they added that pie chart. That's that's pretty good, actually. That's not bad. This year, this year, I think I'm going to focus on my dribbling and my shooting. I know in previous 2Ks, I made a shooting glass. And I still think that that shooting center build is one of the best center builds. I don't care what nobody says. Shooting centers, I feel like having a pop center is so important. 100%. So, I'm about to go for... This is hard because the, the green-yellow chart I want to go with kind of has lower three-point. Like, and mid-range significantly. You don't want to go with some defense? No. I'm not being a defender this year. I think I will make a defensive build, Madden, but not this year. I think I'm going to go with that green-yellow pie chart that favors the shooting. Because the close shot is pretty good. I don't remember what the stats you needed for your driving layup or your dunk to get contact dunks. But I would like, ideally, to get contact dunks. I'm, about, I'm, I'm just talking. I'm just going to test it out. I really don't know if it, if it is a way to go. Again, I haven't, I haven't figured it out. But looks like they didn't, they didn't add no physical profile. So they, haven't, they didn't add no, nothing on the physical profile. Oh, okay, that's right. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so let's let's play it. Let's let's take let's drop down to 22. So then that'll put me at 6. So that'll put me at 50.
No, I'm trying. I'm going like I'm going like I'm going like um. So 23 post fade is up. Let's do one more in block. I don't think I don't think I'm gonna have to worry that much on defense, y'all. For some reason, I don't I don't feel like it's gonna be that much of a worry. Okay. And then define. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna say solid. And then I'm gonna do six eight. I'm gonna do six eight. I'm gonna do six eight. And then I'm gonna do. Seventy-eight speed and one ninety-three, so I get a little bit of perimeter defense. Okay, okay. I think I think I'm gonna do this. I think I feel I feel like I'm onto something. I'm not making. I okay, you guys. I know everybody wants me to have more defense. But I played a defensive build last year, and I think even if this build sucks, it doesn't matter. Because I could always go back and make it. It's not like I can play the game today anyway. So I can always go back and remake it. But I'm trying to make a build that I can low-key carry with. Because I need, I need to be able to lead my squad to the victory, okay? That's that. I, I put minimum wingspan. Fit my skills? I don't have skills. <laughs> I don't have skills. Okay. And then last time I told you guys, I said I should have put play, make, and take over on my stretch. Because I feel like I'm... I'm trying to learn how to be a facilitator. So I think I'm gonna do playmaking because I wanna dribble and I wanna rack up these assists this year on 2K, right? This is this is what I'm gonna do. I made a mistake of putting, I made the mistake of putting the shooting takeover on my playmaker last time. And this year, I'm going with the playmaking takeover. And this is this is it. This is it. This is the build. This is my first build of 2K21. Okay, I will say 2K20. Okay, here we go. A three-level score. I'm about to fix this. I I don't I don't think this is it. I don't think this is it. Jason Tatum, Dano Gallinari. No, I don't. I don't think this is it. I don't think this is it. I, I'm pretty sure this is not it. But we're gonna make the. We're gonna put a pin in this moment because I, I can't believe this. I cannot believe this. Stream marker. Oh my god, what is this? Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like, comment, tell me what you're most excited for about 2K21, and also make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of my new content. Road to 2,000 subs. Thank you guys so much. Catch you guys later. Bye.